I'm sure you're aware that about a month ago, the chairman of the NDC said that the party felt that Peace Council in particular was not doing anything about what was happening and therefore it didn't find the, the party didn't find the need to sign any peace pact. It was after that that we saw a lot of press conferences, not just from the Peace Council but also from the Electoral Commission who we'll go into the abit and the BVDs and how they are even handling all of that. Would you say that the Peace Council had been sleeping until uh, John Senesiedun Ketia stood on his ground and said that you people are not being fair to us? Well, you recall that the statements you referred to did not just happen this year. These statements were made a few years back, particularly His Excellency the President's statement that he will not hand over power to John Dramani Mahama. He will hand over power to the flag bearer of the New Patriotic Party. That was made far back as... Uh, early 2023. And he's kept yes, making and that he comment. he kept making it. And it was supported, you know, loudly by a cabinet minister, Honorable Brian Achampon. And nothing happened. And we had similar statements being made by party apparatchiks. Nothing happened until recently that the Peace Council came in. And the Peace Council came in also through the back door. He didn't do it properly. So is he doing so, was right? 100%. He I was 100% and that has now ignited this flood of concern by many. And so you see, apart from me coming out to say that no, something must be done, the Peace Council then initiated some efforts and their attention was drawn to the fact that since the 2020 elections, since the Ayawasu by elections, a number of things happened. Commissions were established, reports were presented, recommendations were made. There were some statements that they will be implemented, and nothing has happened. So now we are moving to another. This time, the 2024 elections is unlike the 1992 elections or the 1996 or the 2000 elections. Why do you say that? It's not also like 2004, 2008, or 2012 elections. Why? Neither is it like the 2016 and 2020. This is a critical election that will determine whether we are truly committed to the cause of multi-party constitutional democracy. Clearly, this election is not just yes, about the political parties. It's about the soul of our nation. Very, very important. And so to have very experienced political leaders, particularly His Excellency the President, who started politics at a very early age because of his parenthood, and who was what, an activist in the CPP party, grew out to be the president of Kwame Nkrumah Youth Forum. And after the 66 election, joined the United Party, Progress Party, now MPP, to come out after all that experience, a legal luminary, to say such a thing. That is inciting people to violence. Okay. That even if we lost the election, we will not hand over. We will do all we can to hold on to power. That is unacceptable. I was really shocked to hear that because His Excellency the President knows that the power he's holding is not his. It's for the people, particularly the voters. And the people voted and gave him that power. Once they vote you out, they, he even is ending mm -hmm. his eight years period. At the 6th of January 2025, His Excellency Nana Adodanko Akufuado has no such power. He knows that if he orders the CDS 
on the 7th of January 1990 to do anything, he will not do it. My understanding of what you're saying, really... He has no such power, so it's just an empty boast. Brutum fulmin. He cannot. He will not have that power. It's the person that the people have now voted for that have been given the power. And though the people looking at that person, not him. So either his, his Excellency John Dramani Mahama or His Excellency Dr. Uh, uh, Mahmoud Baumia. You do not think so that those that are the people that will have power and those are the people that Ghanaians will now be listening to, not to him. So he has nothing, not even an empty shell. What we do is just a ceremony to show that power has now shifted from the former to the newly elected person. You do not think that those comments were deep expressions of, I really wish that Baumia would, would take over the reins of power from me? You just said it. What prevented him from using that same language? If I oh, it's my wish that MPP should win the elections and Baumia would take over from me. But if you go and say categorically, I will not hand over power. I see if the power is still in your hands. <laughs> but by that time, it's not in his hands. You just gave his history there, where he started from before he even became president. Yeah. Would you say that that comment was irresponsible and he's repeated it? Well, His Excellency knows better. You know, in mature democracies, they will take actions more down what we will do. That would have soiled all his records as a politician. You know? And all those descriptions people make of him in terms of law and the defense of human rights or the media and also his record as a president. This cancels out all. It doesn't show that he's a democrat and that he believes in multi-party democracy. If I hear what you're saying, you were disappointed when very, you heard that. Very, very. In fact, it was, I was shocked. Was at least expected His Excellency to say such a thing. 